Okay, everyone, maybe one of the biggest launches of the year, TaylorMade's driver, you've already seen them on the non-conforming list, but here we are, a data-driven channel giving you robot-tested data on all of these drivers, QI4D. We don't need to go into the technology too hard. You've heard all the marketing. We are gonna give you the data. We got 105 mile an hour test, and we only tested three models at 105 because we're not sure that that's who the no, 4D not, Max not Lite is for. No. <laughs> um, and then we've got the uh, the standard test, which you can compare to any other driver that you'll see on the channel this year at 95 miles an hour, two degrees out. But first things first, we're gonna do the 105 mile an hour test, then we're gonna jump into the MOI data, then we're gonna do this center shot, and then finally those graphs so you can see how they come off the face of every single impact location. Okay, first things first, let's jump in with the QI4D core model. So they're middle of the road driver. One, yep. And I've been playing around with this one a little bit. This is really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm and, really- and Obviously tail me, it's exciting to see new stuff from them anyway. Okay. I appreciate it. Tiny bit draw bias, probably dropping left a little bit, which is nice to see. 105 on hour, zero, zero angle of attack. Um, and we got 11 degrees of launch, 3,400, landing at 39 degrees. Okay. Let's jump in and see. Let's do the, let's do the max next. Uh, okay. So max, we, we talked about this when the first 10K drivers came out. Yep. People think the max is like maximum forgiving for slower speed golfers to get the ball in the air. Not necessarily. No, no, the max is for a lot of things, right? I mean, it's basically high, higher for sure. A little more draw bias usually, right? Yep. Um, spins a little more. Right. And it's just some people need spin, right? Especially when you start dropping speed a little bit. Um, and yeah, you, if you don't hit it in the square in the center, why not? Right? Forgiving. So you yeah. can hit it hard. It's yep. just going to be a little more a little more stable in those heel to toe shots. Yep. Well, wait to see the data. Yeah. <laughs> okay. QI 4D Max, here we go. Really similar, a tiny yep. bit higher launch. And a little more left. Similar spin, more draw. Start line, yep. just a little bit more. Okay, lost a couple of yards in that test. Okay, now, yep. 4D LS. We're gonna get into some uh, MOI and some CG. Yeah, this, this is one's different. definitely different, yeah. <laughs> but they, they have stuck with the um, 460 across the board this year. Right. LS drivers, sometimes they go 450, 445. And right. back in the day, TaylorMade used to do a 430 in the M3 yep, and that kind of stuff. So let's see what this does here. It's considerably lower. Lower launch. So two degrees lower than that last driver and 2600. Okay. Like we said, we didn't bother testing the max on that, that test, but we did test all of those three head to head. As you'd expect, highest ball speed in the LS, right. then slightly lower in the core, and slightly lower again in the max, purely yeah, you see because- the spin going up too. Right. Uh, progressively, right? Like absolute, like yep. perfect family line right there. Lowest uh, lowest flight, then the slightly higher, then the highest flight, yep. uh, 256. So it's funny how these drivers, like people think, oh, this is the best driver on the market. Well- For who is question. Right, right. Uh, TaylorMade yeah. make four for a reason. So right. uh, let's find out which one's gonna suit you the best. We're gonna give you every piece of information so you can make the best decision. Dr. Tom Mace uh, does a hell of a lot of work for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but he measures all the club's MOIs and CGs. Uh, and we talked about this every other video, but I like to explain it every time just because it gives you the best idea, especially in this model, right? MOI, uh, heel to toe is the stability from um, off center right. left to right. Resistance twisting basically. Right, crown to sole the same. And this probably means a little less for most golfers, right. but it, it stabilizes thin and high in the face shots. Right. And then you go into basically a net result of getting MOI is CG depth. Right. From, and we're talking about CG depth from the face or the, the leading edge of the shaft, let's say, back in the head. The further back it is, the more stable, but the more it's gonna launch and potentially spin depending on where you Right, and, and, you, and you lose all the ball speed. I mean, obviously, the further forward it is, the more the weight is close to the it's impact. Kind of, it's it's rising yeah. in, the, in the club as it's going yeah. up, so it gets right. more in line with the golf ball. Um, so I think, obviously, the huge two, two opposite ends of the scale, right? LS, we've got 0 0.581, and I'm not sure we've seen one that far forward, even in last year's models. Yeah, maybe a GT4 maybe or something? I mean, that's True. smaller, so True. that helps, right? It makes it easier, but that's definitely far forward. Way up. Yep. And then 1.07 uh, in the max. Now. That's definitely not as far back as we have seen. No, and it's models. just under 10K of our measurements, right? Yeah. Really close. And, and the 10K thing is, you know, we kind of kind of got past that a little bit. You know, everyone's yep. talking about it for years. Um, but, you know, it's not the end all. There's a lot of other design things. And when you make it 10K, 
The problem with that is, you know, it makes it hard to turn over because you got, you know, more weight back deep. So there's, there's some trade-offs. So yeah. not right for everybody. Okay. The other key standout, lie angle. By four degrees. Yeah, they, they, they use the this a lot, right? And I mentioned that before, right? It's one of the design things they've got for draw bias without affecting other things. Yes, right. True. You can put the weight in the heel, obviously make it close faster, um, but that you know obviously does other things as well. It doesn't line the thing up, but by just making it more upright, you change it and adjusting that. Yeah, and they're substantially different. So by that method, we've basically got the most fade biased and the least forgiving in the LS. And if you talked about nearly 10K in the 10K driver, right. we haven't even got 7,000 MOI in the LS driver. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's designed for precision, for yep. people who hit the middle of the golf club, for people that want to see it launch in lower. And keep spin down. And spin down, yep. right? So you put the trade-off of that is it's going to be a little worse on mishits. We're going to show you the graph data, so, so stick with us. Um, what I do love about the Max Light driver, normally when right. you remove material, yep. uh, or when you remove mass, should I say, you're going to affect that that um, CG location, right? But because this is the first driver that is, there's no titanium. Right, it's actually aluminum. A aluminum right? ring body. But there's enough. I mean, obviously, carbon is the strength of highness. Thing, right. right. Aluminum is actually lighter than titanium uh, for strength-wise, but it just actually you know bends more. It's harder to control. It doesn't spring back as easily. But you know, there's no aluminum actually hitting a golf ball on this thing unless you really try, right? Right. <laughs> Slamming yeah. on the ground or something. Yeah. Um, so there's a real need for it. And by making it lighter that way too, they're able to maneuver some more weight around. Well, so they've got the CG way far back yeah. for a lightweight head. Right. Which is hard to do. Yeah. And this one does push to, to 9,000 uh, on the on the MOI combined. Right. So pretty, pretty solid there. Another key feature, and we, I said I wasn't going to dive into tech too much, but we got four weight. I love this one in the core model. Yeah, I've, I've hit this one and played around with it for a while. This this one's in the bag for now. Right. Um, as soon as it's technically released, but it, I've been playing around with it. And it's really good. It definitely launches higher. Um, it certainly looks a lot different than the last year's package. Uh, the middle one looks more like you know a middle one. Yeah. Last year I thought. You know, I played the middle one last year, and it kind of looked a little big. I couldn't kind of square it up. I agree with that. And I tried the smaller one at the end of the year, and I actually liked that better, which I'm not the right player for it, but it was better. So this one kind of solves all those problems. It launches a little higher. It's got crazy adjustability. I mean, and, and the advantage to doing, they've gone back to the old school little screws. Yeah, love it. I, I do too. And, and the reason is this, you know, um, those screws don't really weigh much. In order, you know, you've got a titanium body here. You're just implanting a little thing and, and screwing it in. So you're drilling a hole, putting some threads in it. You really don't have to add any weight to do that. You start putting slides and other things where you've got to create something around it. Track, yeah. You use it a lot more weight that way. So this frees up a lot more weight to move, you know, further around the corners. Um, so it gives you a lot of adjustability, which is great. So many configurations oh, yeah. too. They also extended this speed pocket, right? So they dragged right. it a little more towards the toe. We'll see that in the miss hits if it helps with those low shots, basically. Yeah. Um, but I agree. I, I mean, I love it. I think the sound is maybe a little better this year. Yeah, way as well. better. Yep. I do. I it do launches think. higher. Seems like to me, it doesn't spin. That's just great driver. Yeah. Really clean look. Probably can't see it on the camera. Maybe Austin will get some cool B roll for us. But they lit up this leading edge, which really frames the ball down at address. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, that. I did. You, see it? you yep. can really see you can that really top see line. It. Love that. Okay. I mean, we said no opinion, but it has to be a little bit in there because we do love talking tech. <laughs> um, but let's jump in. Let's have a look at the 80, uh, sorry, the 95 mile an hour, two degrees up, center shots only. Okay. All right. So what we're looking for here is separation, right? Yeah. That's the key in this family. because they're all 10 five degree lofts. Right. And we see a fairly good spread. So let's, I mean, let's do read this a little bit weird. Let's start bottom left and right. work our way around the corner. LS, you know, yeah. to, all towards the max, right? So it is the lowest launching. Yep. It is the lowest spinning. Lands at 29 degrees in this test. So again, this kind of pushes into that thing. Like if, if you're that person that's hitting this exact same robot yep. um, swing, this isn't for you. Yeah, not a 95 miles an hour. Right, maybe not. if you're 7 degrees up, I mean, you know, you can get, I probably could hit that in the air, but right. there's no real advantage to doing it. But if you're a high ball hitter at 95 miles an oh, hour yeah. and you're picking out a tailor-made family, well, guess what? That one's yep. going to work pretty damn good. Um, and then we go into that core model, 12 degrees of launch. I love that. 2,400 RPMs, you know, landing a 35. I mean, that's kind of like magic. Yeah, that's right, right in the middle, there. right? I mean, right. that's, you know, right between the big, huge stuff, the Max is designed, you know, real game improvement stuff. Uh, and, and that's where they missed out, you know, on some tour players a little bit last year, you know. Um, you know, the, the middle one wasn't, Quite the middle one. True. Yeah. Uh, and but it certainly is now. And I think you're gonna see a lot of these on tour this year. Well, we saw everyone. Both the kind middle of, one and the and, and, and the tour one. And the tour. You're gonna see a lot of a lot of middle ones, I think, with the with the weight configuration up the front. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yep. like it's gonna be the best of both worlds. I didn't play around with it a bunch, and we'll do that later on this summer when we catch Point. up with our launches. Yep. Um, but it definitely you know, I moved a couple just for, for, you know, quickly. It made like three or four hundred RPMs of difference. Yep. A lot. If you yeah. head to the Worldwide Golf Channel, I actually did a fitting where I did that with the guys our tailor made, and we moved the weight up 
immediate change. So oh, yeah. we have to get it on the robot and show you what it does, but right. that, that's, that's a good change there. Then you go to the max and all you've got is forward back weight, definitely aimed at like more forgiveness. We get, we get six feet more high, um, 11, uh, 21 feet if you're looking at yeah, compared to the- 200 uh, RPM to spin. Right? right, so it's actually not that spinny comparatively. No, it really spinning. isn't. It's a, it's a really good high launch mid spinning driver uh, and still well within the bounds of like that 95 mile an hour swing that we're swinging. And then we go to the light, and as we always say with the robot test, we don't actually get the benefits of the lightweight out of the robot. No, I think we got to do a, a separate test for the lightweight right. heads, really. But we control the speed, so we still put it same in. Yep. It is a higher launch and higher spinning head. It's great for who this is aimed at. Yeah. Excuse me, those people. And, and this is 95 miles an hour, right? So, um, you know, you start dropping below 85, you're going to need that spin. Right. Keep you it need, in the air. Yeah, keep yeah. it in the air. And that's what this is aimed at. You're gonna, right. you, you need that spin to keep the ball in the air at lower speed, and that's what this does. Okay. We know you've been waiting for it. Let's do the graph. Uh, and we've already had one driver released this year, so you get something to kind of stand out up against. But let's take a look. Oh, lots of stuff there. Oof, there's yeah. a lot to look at, but we'll give you plenty of time. So, um, I mean, the standout there is obviously the core driver. It's the best all-rounder, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Is. And yep. that, like we said, you just said, that all the weights are in a standard configuration, the hosel's in a standard configuration. So you've got yep. ways to fix it for your own ball flight. Another standout is the LS out of the top of the, top of the club there. It's not as forgiving, right? Yeah. We saw 2,500 in that crown sole measurement of MOI. We, right. It's like it's not designed for that. It's no, it's designed really not. For uh, where did we put the weights on the test? For the left, all where, all where in the standard. The LS, hang on if I can find the LS. Right. It's just the front back weight, right? Right, so which so one do they have in the front? They've got the 15 up front. Okay, so, so, it's, so it's, yeah, it's not helping us. Right. right, so you put it back, it's going to be and more And it's up front, not only up front, but it's up, up front low. And, and you're talking about high on the face, so it's not a good spot to... Uh, Right. Move it to. But very, very straight lines. Yep. Pretty much all of them are very, very straight lines. The heel miss hits the worst with all of them. Um, like you see in the max light, there's less mass behind that heel, so it's going to be worse than all the others, which is what it is. Yeah, by the way, I mentioned in the last one too, but uh, you know, we changed our testing on, on the toe and the heel this year. So it's actually you know, 25 millimeters, which yeah. is a full, a full inch, inch to yeah. the toe and heel. It's a long way. Because what we found was you know, half inch or three quarters, you just didn't see that much, right? Yeah. And especially to the toe, people do hit on the toe a lot. That far out. I mean, I've done it. <laughs> um, me too. I've done it way yeah. more than that. Yep. Right. <laughs> An inch is a good day. Right. Um, and then we look at that 260 mark again uh, as, as, our, as our boundary of like really, really good distance. And you see the core model there gets pretty pretty close to it at this, yep. at this speed. So I think what this, this lineup of drivers does this year is it shows a really clear definition, like great design techniques from TaylorMade that from uh, LS through max light with the two in the middle, the yeah, ball, they, ball they just step increases. one, two, three, as far as launch and spin, they kind of go up slowly and they obviously get a little more draw bias as they go along. So it's a really good mix of clubs. Yeah. And by the way, I think it'll look great. They, I, mean, they I, like, I like the kind of dull blue color and the, and the matte finish on the top. Um, did a good job with the Cosmetics this year too. Yeah. I yeah, will I say- I got Sharpie out for the orange bit. Right, yeah, you just, <laughs> yeah, just like the orange. But I will say there's a lot of adjustability with all of them. Yeah. Right? yeah. So you're gonna Especially need to- Especially the middle one dial it in with the fitter yeah. like it's the only way you're going to do this is is we can see that they perform well right they all perform well they all perform they differently yeah. but you you've got so much levers to pull to make it right. work for your specific game and even you yeah. have hit tested them you haven't nailed what you're going to play yet no not exactly <laughs> right <laughs> you've got to spend a bit of time yeah, with it exactly. and actually dial it in so we can't wait to see you. We know a bunch of people are going to be in cool clubs whacking these things as soon as they possibly can. Head to a Worldwide Golf retail location or worldwidegolf.com to shop TaylorMade's QI4D drivers today.